In this video, I'll be covering question one, part D from the 2021 AP Calculus AB free response calculator required portion of the test. I cover each of these little subtopics, A, B, C, and D, in their own individual videos because they're kind of their own individual little problems. And so if you want to see A, B, and C, those are in other videos. Feel free to check them out. This one's just going to cover part D. So looking at part D, what we can see is we've got the density of the bacteria in this Petri dish from 1 to 4 is modeled by this new function. Notice that what we're talking about here is different than what the table is talking about. We're talking about this new function g, and this is the equation that they give us for g. And they want to know for what value of k that lives between 1 and 4 would be, would the function value be equal to the average value of that equation from 1 to 4? The key terminology on this is average value. Average value is an integral formula that you just have to have memorized. The average value formula looks like 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of whatever you're trying to find the average of dx. Putting that into terms of our specific problem, what we would have here is we would do the integral from our lower bound, which is 1, to an upper bound of 4, so this would be from 1 to 4, which means our fraction out in front would be 1 over 4 minus 1. Then our f of x, our equation is the g equation they gave us here, this long thing, 2 minus 16, and then cosine of 1.57 square root of r. We close that parenthesis, then from there, close the other parenthesis, raise it to the third dr. That's our average value. And what they're wanting to know again is when does it equal what k value, which is really just the x value, what x value would it would equal the actual original function? So when would this equal 2 minus 16 parentheses cosine of 1.5, such a ridiculous equation, square root of r, close, close that, raise it to the third. We want to know when are those two things equal to each other. Well, we're good news about this. While it's a crazy equation, we're going to do all of this in our calculator. So what we're going to do uh, is start off by finding the value of this left-hand side here. We'll do that, like I said, in our calculator. So we're going to, in Y1, we'll put Y equals, and then it will be this fraction to start with. So 1 over 4 minus 1, so 1 third. Then we'll multiply it by this piece here. We're going to plug that in. So the parentheses to start, 2 minus 16, parentheses, cosine of 1.57, square root. We'll call it x when we plug it into our calculator instead of r. Close it. Raise that to the third. Close it off there. And once we plug that in, we just need to find that integral value. And the calculator can do all that for us. We're going to graph that. Then we'll hit second, calc. And in the calc menu, we'll choose the number 7 option, integral of f of x dx. It's going to ask us a series of two questions. First, it'll ask us for our lower bound. We'll type in 1, hit enter. It'll ask us for our upper bound. We'll type in 4, hit enter. And then at the bottom of the screen, it's going to say integral of f of x dx equals. And whatever that is, that's going to be the left-hand side of what we're looking for. So open up our calculator, go to the y equals, and in there we type that big old equation. So 1 divided by 3 then a parenthesis, because this whole equation is getting multiplied by one-third. So that extra parenthesis up front is super necessary. So 16, open another parenthesis, cosine, it auto-opens one, 1 1.57, square root of x. Then push outside of the square root, close that cosine, close the whole thing, raise that to the third, and then we close it one last time at the very end. You're going to want to be in radians when you do this. All of the, the AP test is in radians. So make sure you just default set your calculator to that and you'll be good to go for the whole test. So now we're ready to graph it. We hit graph. And then we're going to find that value. So to do that, we hit the second button in the top left, which is the calc menu, which is the button above trace at the very top. And then inside there, we're going to choose that number seven option, which is integral of f of x dx. Hit enter on that. 
And then at the bottom of the screen there, it's going to ask us a series of two questions. So at the bottom of the graph, you'll see that it's asking for the lower limit. Our lower limit on this was the value of 1. So I type in 1, hit enter. It then wants to find the upper limit. So the upper limit was our upper bound. That would be 4 in this situation. So I type 4, hit enter. And out of there at the bottom of the screen, you can now see that it says integral of f of x dx, and it gives us our answer. When we're doing this, you know, before you get to the final answer, usually on these AP Calc tests, you want to keep everything to about six decimal places. It's crazy, but it will keep you safe. So we're looking at 9.875795. So 9.875, what was that, 9, come on, calculator, 8.75795. So that is this left-hand side of our equals here. And then what we want to know is we want to know when is that going to equal that original function. So when does this equal 2 minus 16 parentheses cosine 1.57 square root of r close, close, raise that to the third. Well, guess what? We can do this in our calculator now. So all we need to do here is take this and put that into y1 in our calculator take this and put that into y2 on our calculator and then from there we just want to know when do those two things run into each other so we're going to graph that and we will hit second calc back to that calc menu and this time we'll choose the number five option in that menu which is intersect again the calculator will ask us a series of questions we'll answer them we'll it'll say the word intersect at the bottom of the screen and then whatever that x value is that they give us out there that would be the k value that we're looking for in this situation so open up the calculator go to the y equals the beautiful part about this you know i call it y1 y2 it doesn't matter which one you put in which and since i've got all that equation entered in except for that extra one third i can go ahead and if you just use the delete button you can just delete off that one third from the front. And so now I have that equation already entered in for me. And then I go down and I want to know when does that equal what we just got out, that 9.875795. So I've got y1, y2. I go ahead and graph those. And now I can see two intersects. But remember that the interval that we care about on this is only going to be from 1 to 4. And so when I look at my graph right now, I can see that the one to the right is visually further than four. If you count your little tick marks at the bottom there, you can see that that's bigger than four. If you wanted to calc them both to feel safe, you could do that. But the one on the left is the one we're going for. So to do this, you're going to hit second. You'll choose the calc menu, which is the button above trace at the very top. And then inside that menu, we choose the number five option, which is intersect. At the bottom of the screen, it's going to ask you a series of three questions. The first two you could really care less about. It's going to say, is this the first curve? Yep, that's the first curve. Go ahead and hit enter. It'll switch automatically to the second curve for you and say, is that the second curve? Yep, that's the second curve. Go ahead and hit enter again. It's the third question that matters the most. It's going to say, it's going to ask you to guess. And so it will always find whichever intersect it's closest to. Um, if you're pointing it just in the right direction, that's all the guess is doing. So I put it close to that intersection on the left because that's the one I wanted to go find. And then I hit enter a third and final time. I will know that I did everything properly because at the bottom of the screen, you will see that it says the word intersection. And whatever that X value is at the bottom there, that's going to be what I'm looking for. So final answers on the AP Calc test, they usually want just a three decimals. So X equals 2.497. And so we'd come back and we just want to know that 2.497. Make sure when you do this that you remember that they are calling this the value of K. So your final answer on this would need to be K equals 2.497. So don't get lost in the calculator answer and what they want for the final answer here. So that would be three points on the test. You'd basically get one point right there for that for setting up the integral you'd end up with one point right here for getting the answer out of that and then you'd end up with your third point on this question for getting your final answer out of the end of this and so from there we got all, everything we need and with the calculator did all the heavy lifting thanks for watching my video if you liked it please click that like button and subscribe and also share it with your friends and anyone else you know who might be crying about an upcoming ap calc test 
You can find more videos from me, more sample AP Calc questions, and my complete AP Calc study guide over at my website, apcalcprep.com. Have a great one.